Hey guys, this week on The Gun Room, we're here in New Hampshire at SIG Academy for the launch of the new MCX Virtus. It's the Gen 2 of the MCX. Crafting superior production firearms that are hand-finished and made in America. Synonymous with quality, precision, and excellence. Kimber is what all guns should be. I'm here with Patrick, who's the product manager responsible for this. He's going to take us through the differences between the first and second model and what you can expect in terms of performance. So Patrick, you guys have spent a lot of time engineering this thing. We have. Um, and the biggest thing you had to overcome was a what, a 20,000 round service life? Exactly, so the in the MCX, one of the things that we faced as a challenge was how do we get to 20,000 rounds with zero part replacement? So we actually made some changes, the biggest one being the tapered lug. Now, anybody who's familiar with a standard M4 bolt, it has a flat lug system with a tail on the back. But the MCX, we use a different system. It's a tapered lug that allows for smoother operation, and then we also use an o-ring extractor which actually lasts the, makes the extractor last a lot longer. So a lot of people are going to ask, you know, Gen 1, Gen 2, yes. are, they, are they backwards compatible? And if not, why not? So there's parts of the system that are backwards compatible. Probably the most important one that is, is the barrel. So what we did was when we shipped the Calex kits, which will come uh, out with the MCX Virtus the same time it launches, the Gen 2 Calex kit comes with that tapered lug bolt. So all you have to do if you have a Gen 1 is all you, you can take your bolt out of your current carrier, put that tapered lug bolt in, and you're ready to use the barrel. Can I put a Gen 1 uh, lower on a Gen 2 upper? You absolutely can. We sell, uh, we sell the Virtus. As you can see, it comes in gray. We also have FDE in the upper is we do a black because all of the other MCXs that are on the market are black. So if you want to actually upgrade your MCX just to a Virtus, we can actually, you can buy the upper and just swap that piece off and everything works together. So are there any other major changes that uh, we should be aware of? The biggest change in this gun is the trigger. Um, we took a lot of feedback from professional groups and also from the consumers that came to us and just said, hey listen, this is a very high-end, innovative gun. Why doesn't it come with a, a better trigger? Um, we worked very hard on that and what we've come with is the, the match light duo. It's a two-stage trigger. It's designed to have a two-pound pickup with a two-pound pull. It's a really, really sharp trigger. It makes it a much more precision gun, uh, and it's, it's probably the biggest difference in this platform. I put a bunch of rounds through this gun over the past couple of days and here's my initial impressions. First off, the handguard does get hot after two or three mag dumps. Um, so if you do get one of these, then you're going to want to have you know, some of the little G10 hand protectors, you know, little silicon rubber thingies. The other thing is these little ports on top of the handguard. I thought those were going to be a problem uh, and I was anticipating burning my thumb quite a bit on the gas block. Wasn't an issue. However, one thing I did notice is there are a couple of ports machined into them and you can see the barrel through them. There are supposed to be barrel markings on this so you can't swap out a 5.56 barrel for a 300 blackout and get the ammunition mixed up as well. So I'd like to see some either tactile or visual reference in there to say, hey, you're about to screw up and say stuff a 300 blackout round into a 5.56 barrel and blow the gun up. But that'd be nice. Um, but overall, gun's very competent. Now, SIG is claiming that this has a 20,000 round service life, or at least mean rounds between failures on all the major components. I have difficulty believing that, and I'd like to put that to the test. So if you guys would like to see us run this through a 20,000 round endurance test, let us know. I'll be up for it.